Hello, and welcome back to another week of Pennywise Popper. I'm your host, Jake Stiles, and this week's deck is Teamertron. Teamertron is a deck that uses Ancient Strains and Expedition Map to assemble Tron with Urge's Mine, Power Plant, and Tower as quickly as possible, and then use all that mana to play an early Fangren Marauder or Ulubog's Crusher, or eventually just Rolling Thunder your opponent out of the game. Let's go over the individual cards in the deck. First we have our creatures. Four Seagate Oracle and four Mill Drifter. These help us cycle through our deck super quickly. When you have seven or ten or fifteen mana, you don't mind paying three or five to draw some more cards and keep on going. They can also block while you're trying to get the rest of your deck online, or they can be used to protect against Chainer's Edict. The four Fangren Marauder and two Little Monks Crushers are the big creatures in the deck. The Marauder, being a 5-5, five five, is bigger than most of the creatures in the format, except for Gurmag Angler. And the life gain is also surprisingly relevant. We have some artifacts that cycle that let us gain life, and gaining 5 or 10 or 15 life, in addition to putting a 5-5 five five on the battlefield, is very good against a lot of different aggressive decks. The two Ulamox Crusher cannot gain life, and they cost a little bit more to cast, but if one of these ever get to attack, it's basically game over for your opponent. These are the only interaction spells that Team Artron plays in main deck. We have two Firebolt for small creatures, two Chainer's Edict for larger creatures, hopefully, and two Rolling Thunder that can clean off your opponent's entire board, or it can all go toward your opponent's face to kill them. So how do we make blue and green creatures work with red and black removal spells? That's on the next slide. So this is how we translate a mana base of entirely colorless mana producing lands to be able to produce four different colors of mana. The four Ancient Strain can help you grab a land of your choice, or one of these other artifacts pictured here, or even an Ulamog's Crusher if you already have Tron assembled and you need a win condition. The four Chromatic Sphere and Chromatic Star are sort of like this deck's version of Mana Morphos. It requires two total mana to be pumped into them, and then you get a card out and one mana of any color. The four Expedition Map are for finding your Tron pieces mainly, however they can go get your other lands when necessary. The four Prophetic Prism and two Prismatic Lens are both two drop artifacts that can cycle one generic mana to a mana of any color once a turn. The Prophetic Prism draws you a card when it enters, and the Prismatic Lens ramps you. The mana base is fairly straightforward. We have four each of the Tron lands, so they're the most important lands in the deck. Four Haunted Fengraf. This is very good against control decks, since we can recur our Mole Drifters, or our Fangren Marauder, or our Ulamox Crusher. The two Unknown Shores are there to help you cycle your mana. This actually has the same exact text as Prismatic Lands, but it's sort of nice having this effect on the land, because we can search for it with Expedition Map when necessary. Moving on to the sideboard, we have two Circle of Protection green, and two for red. The green is good against Stomping and Boggles, and the red is good against Is It Blitz and Burn. Feed the Clan is another good card against Burn, and it can also be brought in against some other aggressive decks as well. The three Ancient Grudge are great against Affinity and Kuldatha Jeskai. Our last few sideboard cards, we have Relic of Progenitus against the Graveyard decks, two Ray of Revelation, which are good against Journey to Nowhere and Spreading Seas, and three Earth Rift, which are the best card in the Tron Mirrors. Teamer Tron is extremely efficient at finding Tron quickly, and is very good at closing out the game once it has it. It's very similar to Affinity, in that it gets to play a lot of different four-ofs to remain very efficient and focused. Let's get to the matches and see how we do.